Hi, it's Abor1975 and welcome to Lead Dangerous on Xbox. Today I've got footage from Scooby. This is his Type 9 exploration ship. And yeah, that's right, a Type 9 exploration ship called Ermintrude. And um, I want to cover the subject of whether I feel Elite Dangerous is a dead space game or not. And honestly, looking at all the footage, looking at the size of the clubs, um, looking at the amount of comments on some of Parallel's recent videos, looking at the amount of commanders I've run into over the last three or four weeks, looking at all the stuff that's happening, going on in-game, I don't think it's particularly dead. I'm seeing way, way too much life in a game for it to be called a dead space game. Um, Microsoft's ever saying that a game is not dead if you're playing it, and I kind of agree with them. Um, and when you get a game like Elite Dangerous where you can get absolutely stunning views like that, flying into a sunset is still one of the coolest things you can have happen on a dying space game. Uh, when you fly into a sunrise or a sunset, it just looks beautiful. And Scoob is great at bringing me amazing stuff from exploration because I don't go exploring so I never see this sort of stuff. I never sit in the external camera for a massive amount of time recording footage like this. But Scooby does and he brings it to me in this great footage. Uh, especially to talk about a subject like this because no matter what happens to our space game, you'll still be able to do this sort of stuff regardless of how few players there are playing it. And even if the majority of my friends dropped off, even if the player base went down to 10% of what it was now, I would probably still be playing this game. Um, I'm still making YouTube content for it and I'm still playing it, even though uh, my views um, for this game have dropped to around about a third of what they were at the start of the year. The, the annoying thing is, the announcement for FDev couldn't have come at a worse time for me, because the game was just really gathering momentum with so many new players, it was really like doing really well and then that announcement came and it just jumped, jumped off a cliff um, and slowly it's it's recovered a little bit and there's always going to be people that are just absolutely miffed at FDev and will never return to the game and I understand their point of view it does feel like we've been abandoned uh, thrown to the curbside it's uh, PR wise it's not been good the way they've handled the whole uh, leaving console behind part of this Odyssey update um, but then, you know, the most disappointing part was the fact they kept us hanging for a year. Uh, they kept us hanging for a whole year and it, a lot of people were of the opinion it was like they were just like milking us for arcs. Uh, I still feel that at this point they're milking us for arcs and they've even got a video coming out about that. But all in all, uh, I was glad that they told us um, and at least we could go forward because at least the Horizons version of this game is still... A beautiful space sim with amazing like graphics and stuff that you can do in game there's enough in just the horizons version of the game to keep you going for a long 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 time if you don't believe me about having plenty to do i can tell you now i am fifth oh no actually i'm ninth on my leaderboard for time played and i have 369 days and seven hours and 25 minutes and i am ninth uh, <laughs> i'm looking at the guys ahead of me. Uh, the next jump up after me is 427 days, then 451, 456, 471. Holy hell's the marker, you've played a lot. 472, Mr. Greenback, 488. <laughs> I was a former Dark Marauder. Uh, 551 days, and then Top Dog is 781 days. But that doesn't include second accounts, and I know the guy in second's got a second account or two. Um, <laughs> So, you know, absolutely ludicrous amount of people with time played in this game. I I am basically just average with 369 days. But yeah, there's plenty to do in this game. Um, otherwise, we'd have all got bored long ago. Um, the fact that these people and the times are still going up for most of these people. Um, I'm not gaining ground on the top 10 people on my list. Uh, well, I'm ninth, but I'm not gaining ground on many of them. And uh, yeah, some people behind me are even gaining ground on me. I love the fact Scooby's got a lot less time played than me, but has done way more of the achievements. Such an achievement hunter. <laughs> Looking over that friends list, there's people on there that have had a very singular approach to the game. There are people that have dabbled in everything. Uh, there's people that have done stuff I've never done, and I've done stuff they've never done. 
So there's such a wide variety of things to do. It's like the original Elite back in 1984. If you can imagine it, just do it. I knew people in the 90s that were still playing the Elite from 1984. And I'm sure I'm going to know people playing this game long, long from now. And until they turn the servers off, there's still a massive amount of entertainment to be offered by Horizons. You know, I wouldn't pay for it, but as I've already paid for it now, I might as well damn well enjoy it. You know, I wouldn't buy a game that the developers have done this to at this point, but as I already own it, I'm going to milk everything I can from it because I've already paid for it. So I may as well enjoy it. Anyway, that's all. Thank you very much for watching. And thank you to Scooby for these spectacular views.